Good morning, bro chicas. <clears throat> um, I wanted to try to remember to record the things that I'm eating and drinking for you guys. Um, because some people would like to see the things that I'm eating on my keto journey. So, I always start off my day with a glass of water. Usually, during the week, Monday through, I want to say Monday through Thursday, I have a half a cup of black coffee. I take my daughter to school, I come home, do a couple things like chores, and then I'll have a bulletproof coffee maybe around like 8 or 9, depending on how I'm feeling. I don't, you know limit myself I just have it when I feel that I'm ready and for the past few days or uh, four days I haven't been wanting to have it as soon as I wake up I've just been wanting black coffee but today I have a lot of errands to run um, Fridays are our errand days so we're gonna go grocery shopping and my husband took my daughter to school and um, he took Austin with him so I get to be here chilling and I'm having my bulletproof coffee now so that I can be ready to um, go to the store when he gets home. October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. Um, so it is, what time is it? 8.57 in the morning. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I want to do a full day of eating, but honestly, I don't know if it'll work out. I don't know if I'll remember, but if I don't remember, I will just add this to a random vlog. Uh, so, so far I've had a cup of black coffee. That's usually what I start my day with nowadays because if I start it with a bulletproof coffee, I'll end up having another one and then another one at work and that's a lot of bulletproof coffee. So, I started off with a glass of water like this size and then I had some black coffee. After I drop my daughter off, I get home and I do put something in my coffee. So normally I do the bulletproof coffee. I do, um, I think it's a tablespoon of the Kerrygold salted butter, the gold bar. Let me just show you guys. Where's my butter? I have to look at a new one because. So this is the one that I put in my bulletproof coffee. Get the salted one because we need the salt. And then I put heavy whipping cream. Oh, just dropping stuff. Hopefully this is not broken. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. And then I just used some heavy whipping cream. This one in particular is 50 calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, six grams of fat, zero protein for one tablespoon. So I just put one tablespoon, one tablespoon of butter, and then some erythritol sweetener, which is zero 
carb, zero sugar, zero calories, because it is a sugar alcohol. And that's what I typically have in my Bulletproof coffee, and it's really, really delicious. It's really filling, and it really makes me energetic. So I just filmed my two-week keto update yesterday, so I should have that up before this video, obviously. But if you watched it, uh, you would have seen that I didn't lose that much weight last week, and some weird fluctuations happened in the middle of the week. I know I shouldn't be checking the scale as much as I'm checking it. I guess I just get worried because I know that I'm not counting macros. I just want to make sure everything's okay, but I'm really going to try not to look at the scale that often but i am still not wanting to count my macros completely because i think that it adds a lot of stress to my life and i think that when i'm stressed my cortisol is up and then i can't lose weight anyways so i really do still want to practice um intuitive eating and all of that good stuff so call it what you want i guess i'm not strict keto I'm not strict keto i guess people call it lazy keto because all i'm doing is making sure that i'm under 20 carbs a day call it what you want to call it um but i just want to really like i said i really want to make this sustainable for my life and it's not sustainable to count my macros for the rest of my life it's not going to happen i'm not going to do that so I'm going to make a couple changes to my diet starting today because I did check the scale this morning even though I shouldn't have. I did. And I'm up a little bit. I think I'm up a pound or half a pound, which is not really true, guys. Like just because you fluctuate in the scale doesn't mean that you gained weight. And we have to remember that. I have to tell myself that all the time because I have this tendency to think, oh my God, I ate something wrong yesterday and I gained weight. I did not gain weight. I'm probably retaining water. Maybe I was a little bit over my carbs. Um, you know, maybe I, I, I don't think I was the, that many carbs because I'm really good at like knowing how many carbs I ate. But maybe I ate 22 carbs instead of like the 14 carbs that I normally eat in a day. And I know that I can have up to 20, but like I said, everybody is different. Everybody's different with how things work in their body and like how many carbs work out for them. So normally I do around 10 to 14 carbs a day and maybe I ate like 22 carbs yesterday or 20 carbs yesterday and I'm just retaining some water from that because you know carbs is what kind of makes us retain water. So and then also another thing is I was going up on my fat a lot trying to get into ketosis so I was eating about 1700 calories a day when I was supposed to be eating about 1300 calories a day and that's because that's what's making me full that's what's making me feel good and satiated and I was having a lot of fat I was always over on my fat when I was counting and I'm almost positive I've been over on my fat since not been counting so now what I'm gonna do is start to dial it back down because I'm researching a lot and seeing that when you're first starting out, you can go high on your calories and you can go high on your fat just to get your body used to the notion of burning fat. But then when you're trying to lose weight, um, after you are used to it, you can just dial back down the calories and dial down the fat again to a more um, normal high level, if that makes sense sense because I was doing like a high high level now a huge misconception from people is they think that they're just gonna get in this fat burning state and then they're never gonna gain weight again and they're gonna just continue to lose weight but anybody can gain weight on any diet and that is my to my knowledge to my research to my experience um, you can gain weight on anything obviously if you have an excess uh, like a surplus in calories and I don't think that you need to be starving yourself like, I don't think that I need to be having 1,200 calories. I think I could have like 1,400 calories or maybe even up to 1,500 calories and still see progress. But I think um, I should stop doing the 1,700, 1,800 that I was probably doing because uh, over time I could gain weight. And the reason why I'm going lower on my fat as well is because I want my body to burn the fat that's on my body and not only burn what I'm putting in my mouth. So... Today, what I'm going to try is I had my coffee black, like I told y'all, and then when I came home from driving my daughter to work, I just put one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and a teaspoon of erythritol, but the erythritol doesn't matter because it doesn't affect me, my glycemic, like at all. So, all I did was one tablespoon 
of the heavy whipping cream, which is 50 calories and six grams of fat, zero carb, zero protein. And it was good. I feel energized. I feel ready to go. I'm actually going to do a workout right now. And I am meal prepping some chicken. This is my favorite thing to do, guys. If you don't have time and you're always like, oh, I don't want to meal prep. I don't have time to cook. Like, I don't want to do that. It takes too much time. Listen, crock pot. Get you a crock pot if you don't have if you already have a crock pot start using it literally i buy this huge like five pound pack of chicken thighs sometimes i can't fit all of them and i'll just freeze a couple of them this is most of the package there was like two or three that didn't fit but look at how delicious it smells so good oh it smells so good so this is my first time um seasoning it the chicken thighs this way but i've made chicken thighs in the crock pot several times since starting back on keto i do a cherry uh, teriyaki chicken sometimes i call it teriyaki what i do i feel like i'm talking so fast guys i'm so energetic um what i do is i take liquid aminos instead of soy sauce if you don't have this you should definitely get it it's healthier there's no calories less than one gram of carb per serving is it gonna focus I don't know why it's not focusing um and less less than one gram of protein and then there's 320 milligrams of sodium which is good you know we need our sodium it's probably not the is as good as pink himalayan salt but hey so i use that usually i will uh, chop up some onion and put it at the bottom of the crock pot i will pour some of that and honestly i just eye it out you can put as much as you want and just remember that chicken thighs make a lot of liquid so it's going to add more liquid and they're going to come out very soft and they're going to be like fall off the bone type chicken so just keep that in mind so i will put onion at the bottom i will put liquid aminos i will put like maybe two tablespoons of some sesame seed oil and this is 112 125 calories per tablespoon 14 grams of fat zero carbs zero sugar zero protein so there's some fats in here for you and then i'll just put like black pepper garlic powder if you have fresh garlic you can use that i just haven't been having fresh garlic um you can put some onion powder and you know there you go just let it sit on low for six hours I do that recipe all the time and I just put broccoli with it or cauliflower rice with it. You can put asparagus. I've had it with Brussels sprouts. Just put some sort of a vegetable with it and you're good to go. It's really filling. And um, today I just did a regular seasoning. Like I just put this uh, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt. And then I added this which has no any like no calories, no carbs, no sugars, nothing like that. And it's called Flavor Mate Seasoning Blend Garlic Herb. And this is salt free, so I made sure to obviously add the pink Himalayan salt, but this is just more of a flaky seasoning, so I thought it was going to give it a really good texture versus just using powders on top. So that's what I seasoned it with today. I will let you guys know how it came out. It looks delicious, and I'm honestly just going to put it with some cauliflower of some sort like i have i have uh this mashed cauliflower you know it'd be better to make your own but not all of us have time to be doing that so it's nice to have those options in your freezer um we also have this brand which we found oh it's by heb so but this is riced cauliflower so we have cauliflower in rice form we have it in mashed potato form and that's the extent of the veggies I have today. I am not, I don't have that much veggies. We're going grocery shopping on Friday and today is Tuesday, so. So I'm about to do a workout right now. I don't do anything too crazy. Um, I really just try to do something every day. I'm getting so bored of doing the things that I do in the house, but I haven't even showed it to you guys. I wanna show you guys what it was so i have to clean my garage this is we're gonna make our garage into a gym and what we bought i'm so excited guys we just have so much cleaning to do 
I get this place? But I'm gonna get some mirrors and I'm gonna put them up here so I can feel like I'm in a gym watching my form. And this comes with the whole, everything you see here it comes with the bench, the holder, and then the bar and the weights. So it comes with 100 pounds of weights and I am so excited to use this for deadlifts, for squats, for good mornings, just for so many things I can use this for. I could do rows with it. I'm not very good at doing bench presses, but I'll get there. All right, so I'm just gonna do my workout and then I will, I guess, see you guys at my first meal. All right, Birchica, so this is the first meal of the day. Um, I'm always using paper plates because I hate to do dishes. And as it is, even with using paper plates, I swear I'm always doing dishes. Um, but yeah, so I have this little variety plate because I just kind of didn't feel like eating the normal meals that I eat. I kind of just felt like picking at stuff. So I wanted to get a video of this before I put my seasonings on. But of course, I'm going to put some pink Himalayan salt on all of this right here. Probably some black pepper and some cayenne and maybe some garlic powder. So I have some Roma tomato. I have some avocado. I have that slice of Colby cheese cut up. I have two hard boiled eggs cut into slices and some sour cream for dipping. So yeah, I don't have all of the macros and all the counts and everything like that. Obviously everybody's different so you've got to do your own measurements for what fits your needs. And today I'm sort of tracking just so I can see what I've been eating in a day because I haven't been tracking. And I just want to make sure I'm getting enough protein and not going over my carbs. And just so you guys know, I use this to measure out my food. It really, really helps to have a food scale. I highly recommend it if you don't have one. It's great. And um, I made two extra hard-boiled eggs for either hubby or me if I need it later, if I'm more hungry or something. If you make hard-boiled eggs and you don't have a lot of time sometimes and you're crunched, for time and you need a snack, I really suggest doing a bunch at a time. Just keep them in your fridge and that way if you're ever just hungry and don't know what to do, you have hard boiled eggs. And then I'm also gonna be drinking some lemon water. I got a bunch of seeds in there by accident. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna have. And then along with the first meal of the day, I like to take my supplements. And every day I take a magnesium supplement. This is 250 milligrams. I also take a biotin supplement and that's for hair skin and nails and i also take a one day uh you know multivitamin so those are the three i take every single day and then sometimes i take a potassium if i feel like i hadn't got enough vegetables in i don't think i'm going to take it today because i'm having a good amount of avocado but those are the supplements that i like to take if after i eat this i'm still hungry I do like to have a hot green tea. Shout out to my friend who brought me my favorite green tea. We used to carry this brand at Starbucks and we don't anymore. So he found it and brought me this. I love this green tea. So I'm just going to go eat this and I will see you guys later. I just had to stop eating for a second and let y'all know that this is delicious. And tomatoes and eggs and avocado mixed with sour cream is probably my new favorite combination ever. Try, try this guys. This is what it looks like seasoned. In, dipped in the sour cream. Oh my God, it's so good. I could probably just eat tomatoes dipped in sour cream. Like, oh my God, this is so fresh and so delicious. I just had to tell you guys that because I'm like thoroughly enjoying myself and I'm really trying not to rush. <laughs> I'm really trying not to rush through this. Like I'm trying to chill, but it's so good. Wow, I need to start getting ready for the day. I'm just being so lazy. Isn't it funny how like I look like all disgusting, but I'm showered and I'm clean. It's just that my hair is crazy. Um, so my meal was very, very delicious, but I am still hungry and I waited like 30 minutes so that I could really see if I'm still actually hungry or if I just wanted to eat. So I kind of had a hankering for like peanut butter or almond butter. I have the Justin's almond butter right now. And I saw this three ingredient cookie recipe, this keto cookie recipe. So I was like, I'm gonna try it. It's literally an egg, the peanut butter or almond butter and erythritol and that is it. But I put a couple of Lily's chocolate chips in there, which is the chocolate chips that we can have as keto warriors because it's made with stevia and it's very low carb. 
Anyways, I made these cookies. They don't look very appetizing. Weird, probably because there's chocolate chips and it's almond butter, which is darker. But I accidentally overcooked them. But I think they might be okay. I'm gonna have one. I uh, I measured it out like the macros just so I could make sure. I don't really want to count today. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like I want to count, but I don't want to count. I don't really want to count. But with things like this, you should kind of see how many net carbs you got in this. So it's like two net carbs for each of these cookies. So I'm gonna taste them and see what's up. This might be overcooked, but I hope it still tastes good. Mmm, it's actually soft in the middle. It's pretty good. Mmm. Good enough for me. That's definitely satisfying my sweet craving. Mmm, and there's a lot of fat content in here, and there's some protein in here. So it's just going to help me be more full, but <laughs> make sure to not eat that whole batch if you make these. Definitely limit yourself. You can't be eating that full thing, that full batch of cookies. But I think one cookie is a perfect amount and I will be full from this. All right, guys. I can't lie to you. I ended up eating a second cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then I regretted it because I was way too full. But sometimes that happens. And what I've learned in all this time, from the beginning that I started my first weight loss journey, is like you just can't get down about these things. And it's better than eating a chocolate chip cookie from Starbucks or a donut from Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, what I ate is so much better than what I could have ate somewhere else. Or like, you know something just really processed and gross with horrible ingredients so I'm not beating myself up for it I'm just not gonna have one tonight like I had planned because I already ate two and I'm crazy <laughs> I am going to probably have a jello for dessert if if I have dessert you know I might not feel like it we'll see but um this is like a typical dessert that I will have where is my jello is the sugar-free jello um the snack pack sugar-free cherry flavor i think is the best they also have a strawberry and an orange but it comes like with two strawberry two orange and i don't really like the orange one um but the cherry one to me is the most delicious it has the most flavor and what i do is i top it with ready whip whipped cream and this has 15 calories per two tablespoons one gram of fat one carbohydrate and less than one sugar so it's pretty good you know and then i just put a little bit on the top so that's a good dessert suggestion I have for you guys, but I just wanted to show you how my chicken came out. I mean, like, how gorgeous does that look? I already took two and meal prepped, like, put them in my Tupperwares. That's why there's a missing spot there. Um, I just leave the bones in there. So when you make chicken thighs in a crock pot for six hours on low, like, I don't add any liquid. It has all of its own liquid. This is all fat here. So it's literally, like, pull apart, fall off the bone. So delicious. Um, but yeah, this is just herbs and spices. That's it. And it's so good. It smells so delicious. And then what I'm going to have with that is I decided to go for the, uh, cauliflower rice. So I'm going to put a little bit of each of these. These are both measured out to 4.8 ounces. Um, I was going to do four ounces and then four ounces didn't look like enough. And then I was like, I don't want to do five ounces. I don't make sense, but I did 4.8 ounces and I feel like this is the amount that's going to fill me up. So I'm going to put a serving of cauliflower rice in each of these, which is a third, fourth of a cup for 20 calories, zero fat. And the total carbs are four minus the dietary fiber, which will equal two. So it's going to be two uh, carbs per serving and a total of two sugars, which you don't have to worry about because this is not added sugars. This is... A natural you know this is a vegetable and uh, most vegetables will contain some sort of trace amount of sugar for some weird reason um, so you don't have to worry about that with cauliflower have the serving measured out and you may be thinking to yourself hmm that's not gonna be very flavorful rice is it now Christian because it's literally just boring old cauliflower with no seasoning on it well this is what you do y'all 
<laughs> I sound like a commercial. This wondrous fat right here. That's almost like bone broth too, look. Take, oh, wow, wow, I got one with holes. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's pretend that didn't happen. You get this wondrous fat right here, wondrous. And you just, you just drizzle that over the cauliflower rice, there you go. And that is what makes it taste so lovely, and it's almost like you're having a chicken and rice soup. So good. Just put like one final little sprinkle of pink homeland salt and that'll be it. I just wanted to show you guys a, another breakfast that I would typically have, and hold on, my Netflix is. I eat a lot of breakfast foods, but I actually don't mind it. Breakfast is one of my favorite kinds of meals, not that it's my favorite meal like I like to eat as soon as I wake up because I don't. It's about 11.30 right now and uh, I usually eat around 11.30 or noon. But um, I just love breakfast meal types. They are so good. So here I have four eggs because I don't have any meat this day. I just don't feel like eating a meat. So I have four eggs with some shredded cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese and I made the eggs and a little bit of the Kerrygold grass-fed butter the gold one, and then I also have some spinach here. My eggs got in my spinach a little bit, but that's all right, it's still delicious. And um, if I feel like this is like too plain or something, I like to have ketchup on my eggs, but I bought this one that's no sugar added ketchup, but I love ketchup on my eggs, I'm weird. And it's 10 calories for a tablespoon, one carb and one sugar, and the sugar is from the tomatoes, which is a natural sugar. It's not added sugar, so it's totally okay to have this in moderation. So there's zero fat and zero protein as well. So I'll just put a little bit on top, and of course I'm having my supplements. And a big glass of water. What's up, Rochigos? It's Halloween, happy Halloween, even though you're probably gonna see this. You're definitely gonna see this after Halloween. Who am I kidding? Uh, it's about 2.30 right now and I'm just heading out to work. I have a small, tiny, tiny little shift today of three hours because I was scheduled to work the entire night and then I was like, um, guys, I have kids. I really need to take them trick-or-treating. It's very important to me, hello. So I am so grateful that one of my coworkers stepped up and took the last half of my shift. Um, I'm really, really appreciative for that. So I brought her a little treat. I made this cute little cup and I put popcorn and candy and like treats in there for her for covering the last half of my shift. I'm such a mom, right? Like. I used to not have it together, guys, and I just feel like, wow, look at me, like, bringing something for somebody, a cute little treat that I made, like, what? Like, I feel like a real mom. Um, can you guys tell what I am? What do you think? Wednesday Adams. And the greatest thing about me being Wednesday Adams today is because Halloween is on a Wednesday this year. How hilarious is that? So I am a pun and I am Wednesday Adams, and I'm just proud of myself. I'm sure there's gonna be a million people who are doing the same thing as me, but I already had my costume, which uh, you would have seen if you watched my little Halloween house tour thing. I was the Bride of Chucky for my party, and that was like hands down the best Halloween costume I've ever pulled together in my life. But uh, since I actually have never worked on Halloween, I don't think. I don't think I've ever worked on Halloween. I think I've always had the day off. So, the thing about it is that I usually want the day off to go trick-or-treating with my kids or like to party or whatever I used to do back in the day. But now, um, but then I always wished I could work because I wanted to dress up at work. So this will be like the first time that I'm dressing up to work. I'm really excited about it. Especially because I know a lot of people are going to um, probably stare at me and maybe hopefully compliment me on my costume. We can't wear anything like super crazy because we still have to be in dress code and luckily this is dress code. I have some legging on, leggings on that are like Halloween leggings, but they're black and white. And um, so I thought it kind of looked cute. 
and I just have this long sleeve dress on. I wish I had a white collar, but I just don't have anything with a white collar to go under this, so hopefully, well, that's why I put the hand here. People will know exactly who I am because of the braids, the dress, and the hand. Why am I blanking on what the hand's name is right now? It's not Cousin It, because Cousin It is the one with all the hair. Does he have a name? I don't remember. I used to watch the show when I was little. I loved it, but I haven't seen it in a long time, to be honest with you, but. And anyways, people are getting mad at each other and honking on the road, so I'm gonna get going now. I'm gonna go to work, and then as soon as I get out from work, we are going trick-or-treating. I call this one a chicken bacon ranch salad, except for I didn't have ranch, so this is Caesar dressing, but you get the idea. So I had some chicken thighs already made, just regular seasoning, um, and they were prepped, and I just shredded them up cold. I actually love chicken when it's cold. Um, I think it tastes really good. And then I put some bacon chunks on top with some dressing, and it's on top of a big bed of spinach. I was tempted to put tomato, but I don't really have that much left. There's like a half a tomato left, and I think uh, my husband's planning on using that for his meal prep, so I didn't want to use it. But I still have a good amount of micronutrients here with my spinach. And then, of course, I'm taking my vitamins. I'm not going to take a potassium supplement today because I ate avocado this morning and I'm having spinach, so I think I will be good. So, sorry for my hat hair. I always feel gross, like how I'll have my makeup done, but my hair will look just like ugly. But that is because I'm on my way to work and I just put a hat on, so it just looks weird. <laughs> I just feel weird. But um, I just wanted to come on camera and just like let you guys know how I'm feeling this week. And um, the beginning of the week was so good. And I know it's only Thursday, the beginning of my week is Monday, but yesterday and today I was feeling kind of like tired. Like today I feel really tired. I accidentally fell asleep. Um, I think yesterday I am supposed to wake up at six and I accidentally woke up at 6.30. I snoozed my alarms. I have three alarms and I snoozed them all. And I ended up sleeping till like 9, uh, sorry, 6.38 or something like that. And luckily I had to pee or, I don't know if it was I had to pee or somebody texted me that I woke up at that time and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I slept. Um, overslept, so. And then today I like literally was like, like I fell asleep on the couch. And I don't know why I'm so tired because like I haven't cheated. I haven't cheated on the diet. I really don't think I've gone over carbs. I keep a rough count of my carbs and I'm always under 20. Um, but I don't count my macros like I've said. I really just want to intuitively eat because I want this to be a lifestyle change and I want it to be something that I can maintain uh, forever. And I you know, I won't be counting my macros forever, so I just wanted to be free and, you know, not count them all the time. So I've, I haven't been counting them. I've just been keeping track of my carbs, and I know that I'm doing really good with them, and that I'm normally under 20. So I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. I was hungry as soon as I woke up this morning, whereas normally I don't need to eat until like 11 or noon. I actually ate at 9 this morning, I believe or 9 30 and I was like why am I so hungry I don't know kind of it's like I'm like I'm guys I'm gonna be honest with you like I'm fighting it I'm fighting it to drive right now like I'm trying to not not off as I'm driving I'm like so serious I'm so tired and all I can think about is like just get to work and you're gonna have a coffee just get to work and you're gonna have a coffee and I know that like some people will say oh you should wean yourself off of caffeine but like that's just something I'm not willing to compromise, to be honest with you. I know it sounds messed up, and I know a lot of people think, you know, it's not that healthy. I know, and I get it, but that is one thing that I will not compromise is my coffee. It's, it's something I love. I will give up sweets, you know, I will give up bread, I will give up pasta, rice, even though I'm Asian and I love me some white sticky rice. I love me some flour tortillas. Like, I've given up so many things that I love. 
uh, to better myself that that's one thing that I will not do so to each his own I hope that it gets better soon maybe I'm just going through a slump and my body's maybe like getting tired of me not having the carbs and it's like wanting to be like screw this but I'm just gonna push through it because this means a lot to me and I really want to do it and I want to stay on it and I can't believe that last night was Halloween and I resisted all of the temptation that was around me. There was candy everywhere. Went to my friend's house, she made cupcakes, she made these pretzels with the chocolate on it, which I love. She had meatballs, which I thought I could have, and then she said it was in a sugar glaze, and I was like, never mind, I'm not gonna have it. And um, there's so many delicious things around, and I didn't have it, guys, I didn't have it. Um, I stayed strong, so uh, hopefully I start feeling better and more energetic in a couple days. so much for watching this video I really hope that it inspired you to cook more at home and I know that I don't have all the recipes but I just hope that it gave you some really good meal ideas and this is basically what I ate in the first three weeks of keto so I hope you enjoyed it and please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more meal ideas like this and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates on my keto journey thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys next time Bye.